heard a lot of, I'm sorry. How am I doing? People are actually really respectful. They don't really ask questions. I know I think about like recording it, but in the end I don't want to. Because like I said, I do still care about him. Really angry and disappointed I am, um, but still care about him. I recorded a couple months after everything, and the only reason why I recorded it was because I heard another girl was assaulted by the same guy. I actually had to give an interview to the Title IX coordinator three or four different times, kind of reliving the experience. That took a toll. I got on academic probation, and I was really disappointed in myself. I started failing classes. I was like not wanting to go to school because I was so scared that I would run into him. Never really had a solid footing to kind of start over. So dropping out of school kind of gave me that clean slate to kind of come back. And I came back strong last winter quarter. Um, I chose not to report because I knew like the my perpetrator like two years before it happened. Like I've known him for two years. Um, and like after it happened, like I still like tried to be with him. I still tried to like be his friend and then I realized that wasn't healthy for me. Um, I didn't want to report him because I, to this day, still care about him. Um, I kind of regret that because I feel like that could have served me justice. One of the most kind of demeaning things was I remember very specifically having conversations with Title IX, and all they pressed on was how much, like, what were you consuming, what substances, how much alcohol, just like. The very battle was trying to prove my story right. I really didn't like it. Um, I didn't feel supported at all. I, didn't, I was never reached out to. I was never offered really that much help. I deserve more than a sorry. Um, I have flashbacks like three or four times a day and it, it comes back and it it's, it's hard to deal with it when you have to come to terms with it. Um, and I guess reporting like, made me come out to other people and made me like, talk about it um, and start to get over it. It's healing for me too. It's more closure knowing that like, if, if I can empower one person, if I can empower one person to speak up, and even if it's not like reporting, just like telling someone they've been afraid to tell or hiding this big secret, then I will gladly, gladly talk about this incident for years to come because I know what it's like to be lost and feel like there's no one on your side. Like as a kid, I dealt with that a lot. I dealt with that a lot here. I dealt with it in high school. And the most impactful was during the sexual assault incident. So I would never, ever, ever want anyone to feel like they're ever alone and if they can so they can read this interview or if they can get anything from this then I feel like my job is done. That's the only way I feel like I can get through all of this is just, you know, like being humble but being compassionate.